What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna go over updating the firmware of your Nikon FTZ lens adapter. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as I'm constantly putting out content every week. If you're anything like me, you like to keep your technology up to date to the most current software. And today I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade the firmware of your Nikon FTZ adapter. When I first bought the Z system, I wasn't aware that you could upgrade the firmware of the adapter. And when I found that out, I figured I'd put this tutorial together to help you upgrade yours as well. So let's get into it. All right, so in order to upgrade your firmware, you're gonna to need to go to the Nikon Download Center, which I'll provide for you in the link below. Once you get to the Download Center, you wanna type FTZ in the search box and click search. From here, you'll click firmware and where it shows version 1.10, you click view download page, scroll down to the bottom, accept the user license agreement and click download. I downloaded the file to a folder called FTZ firmware on my desktop. And once it's downloaded, you just wanna right click on it and extract it, open the folder, the few folders, and you wanna copy this file and then you want to place it in the main directory of your XQD card. As you can see, I still have the firmware for my Nikon Z6 here, and this method could be used not only for your adapter, but any of the Z system cameras. Now once you have that on your card, you want to safely eject your XQD card. Now you want to insert the XQD card into your camera. Now once you insert the XQD card, you want to go down to the setup menu, and scroll all the way to the bottom, or you could just hit up one time and it brings you to the firmware version. So it's giving me the option here to update and I have two choices, camera body or mount adapter. As I said before, you can do this method to update your camera body, but today we're gonna focus on the mount adapter because my camera is fully up to date. You're gonna select that. It's gonna give you a warning that you're gonna go from version 1.0 to 1.10. You're gonna select yes, hit okay. Once it's updated, you're gonna turn your camera back on, go to your firmware version, and you're gonna see that your mount adapter has now been upgraded to 1.10. So there we have it, your firmware is upgraded. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content every week. Take it easy, guys.